Hello friends, I'm Will Michael with this week's edition of Nature Notes. During heavy downpours in the summer, spadefoot toads emerge to breed. Eastern spadefoot toads are the rarest amphibian in Connecticut and are on the state's endangered species list. Found exclusively in eastern Connecticut, their habitat is in decline. They prefer arid environments in fields or forests with loose sandy soil. During heavy downpours between April and June, they breed and lay eggs in flooded fields or shallow vernal pools. These areas dry quickly, so the tadpoles are in a race against time. Evaporation of the pool is their highest mortality risk. Unlike most toads, the spadefoot's pupil is vertical, giving their eyes a cat-like appearance. Their name refers to spade-like projections on their hind feet, which they use for burrowing in the soil. Large numbers of toads congregate in this pool. Males sing to attract a female. When she chooses a mate, the male wraps his arms around her body and squeezes, causing her to release her eggs, which are then fertilized externally. This act is called amplexus. The eggs develop at an incredible rate. They hatch in one to seven days, depending on the temperature. Warmer water speeds the process. Tadpole development varies widely, 16 to 63 days, depending on what month they hatched and again on the temperature. Spadefoots vary in color from brown, black, and olive. Two irregular yellow stripes are present on the back. Females are larger than males. Although seldom seen in Connecticut, breeding season offers the best chance to observe this endangered toad that one can only hope will remain here.